Right, so next on my analysis journey is Tel Aviv. Okay folks, and this is described as a floral, fruity, warm sun, white bowers architecture tan scheme. That's uh, Galavant's. Uh, Lizzie obviously goes more into detail with the kind of notes and all that breakdown stuff. Um, so yeah, what was Tel Aviv like? Also, in theory, this one should be my favourite, but was it? We'll see anyway. Okay, so as normal, before we get into the review, I always do a few kind of interesting facts about the city and and the people, but um, this time, for respect for all the kind of circumstances around it, not so much now, and I'll just kind of focus on some facts, some cold hard facts, especially since one of the first Google searches brought up that Tel Aviv has no history, so yeah. Anyway, Tel Aviv was founded in the 1900s, about 1910 apparently, and it started as a suburb of the great ancient city of Jaffa, which was um, actually first kind of got its inhabitants in the Bronze Age. So it's a pretty old part of the world and Tel Aviv was originally called Asuzat by it or something like that. Apologies if I've slaughtered the name. Um, it's obviously in the, the great Asian country of Israel and it actually Israel borders Africa as well so it's right back smang, smack bang in the middle. So it should be like a quite a cultural centre. Um, that's pretty much it, and it has a beautiful Mediterranean coast. The rest, have a look yourself. Okay, so Tel Aviv, what's it like? So the first thing I get from it is a beautiful citrus and oranges, like very sweet and and lovely. You get like a nice dose of um, blackcurrant as well, kind of giving it this rich fruitiness. The first floral I get is is actually the ylang ylang, and I think for me personally, the jasmine is there and the jasmine is very strong, but actually the ylang ylang kind of forms the body of it for me. Um, it's very alluring, and, and early on it kind of. Um, mixes with them fruity feels, the fruity notes, and it's, it's quite bright and it's quite lovely, and it does stay quite bright. Um, you get some of the musks coming through, which make it quite alluring and kind of very sniffable. It's quite a clean, beautiful musk though. Now I know it's quite a, um, it's a white floral based fragrance, but to me it actually smells quite solar and quite yellow. Ylang Ylang and Jasmine can sometimes have that quite yellow smell and um, actually it's, it's really pretty but it's not it's not like a normal pretty white floor it's got quite a lot of body to it and does feel quite fruity it smells a little banana-y not in a bad way um, maybe after a couple of hours that it becomes more Jasmine-y than Ylang ylang -y. But it stays kind of crisp and it stays actually really very lovely. It it doesn't change too much out of that, it's just like a sweet, clean, fresh floral. And you do kind of get in your mind like the Mediterranean, the warm Mediterranean sea blowing over these white florals, giving quite a warm, rich feeling. Not so much like a, white florals can be quite cold, but this one I think is, to me, is a, quite a warm one. It is very beautiful. Um, is it original? A difficult question because white florals can tend to s smell quite similar. That's not a criticism, as we all know, that's probably my favorite sort of fragrance. 
but it does have like the musks and, and, the, and the fruity touch to it which which do linger through it actually makes it stand out a little from all the others all in all i think it's a it's a very lovely fragrance and i've thoroughly enjoyed wearing it and like like all of nick's things i think it is um quality superb blending it's not loud it's not in your face it's more just one to enjoy so yeah Okay, Lizzie. So what did you think? Did you think I'm miles off? Do we agree for a second time, maybe? Do you get lemons where I get oranges? Alright, folks. Enjoy. Thanks, John. That was actually really interesting. So, of course, John has just introduced us to Tel Aviv. He's led the way in taking the reins for today's episode, episode 8. And, of course, it's our Let's Galavan series, which is coming close to an end and I'm really sad about it. We've had a really great time reviewing the House of Gallivant. It's not over yet, as everyone may be aware, if they've been watching a lot of the videos in Fragcom, a lot of our fantastic fragrance reviewers have been talking about the latest release, which is Bakura, but we won't get into that today. Today, of course, we're focusing on Tel Aviv. So again, thanks so much, John. Very interesting thoughts. I think I'm with you most of the way. So Tel Aviv is classed as a fruity floral. Sun white bros architecture i think i've pronounced that wrong white bros architecture and tanned skin that obviously is the ode to tel aviv from nick stewart those are the things he wants to highlight about tel aviv and the fragrances focused around those aspects i'm not going to respray this i've actually just sprayed it on my arm and on the other arm i already have it and it's been there for about mm, a few hours i would say i also gave this a good wear a couple of days ago on first spray i do get a, a a nanosecond of fruits it's ever so quick it's like a quick burst of something that is not overly sweet um just a little sparkle of something fruity this very quickly turns into a white floral scent very clean smooth soft white floral i've made no secret that you know white florals aren't really my favorite i don't dislike them I just, I'm not drawn towards them. In here, without knowing what the florals are, I would have said this was a Lily of the Valley fragrance. That's the, that's the sort of white floral that I get from this. A Lily of the Valley with maybe a hint of jasmine. And also something soft, sort of plump, that's cushioning that floral, which I thought could have been rose. It is interesting how John picks out different things to me. And he felt this was quite a yellow floral, like he picked out a lot of warmth. Smelling it again with those words in mind, yeah, I can pick up on that. I, I, I do understand. I wouldn't have picked it out without him saying it. But what I'm, well, how that's interpreted to me is more of a warm soapiness. That soft warmth to John is more like yellow florals. But to me, it kind of goes more into that sort of soapy territory. Along with some green watery elements. Just a, just a hint of them. But this is never sharp. It's always very soft and very clean in a kind of fluffy way. And that fluffiness is where this fragrance starts to go as it dries down. It starts to go a little musky. Not heavy musk. Now, white florals and musks are probably some of my least favourite elements in fragrance. So, I will say at this point, this is not really my style of fragrance. But at the same time, there's nothing to dislike about it because it's so gentle. It's very clean, it's very pretty and very safe. And same as John, I found it very easy to wear, very pleasant, actually. Very, very pleasant to wear. Let's just hit these notes and see what we've got. So, top notes, we've got clementine, bergamot and blackcurrant bud. Heart notes, we've got jasmine sandback, lang ylang, rose oil and freesia. And in the base we have sandalwood, we have musks, we have benzoin, and something called deer tongue, which sounds ghastly. But actually deer tongue is a plant, and from that plant you get an aromatic extract, which is called Leatrix Absolute. And apparently that smells like a mix between vanilla, cumarin, and like a salty malt kind of a scent. I don't think I'm expert enough to pick out anything like that in this fragrance, but that very musky dry down, which is very soft, I think that's perhaps where that plays, because there is a pleasant musk. Even though I don't like musks, there's a very soft, clean, pleasant musk. And in fact, for what is a very light, subtle and soft fragrance, I did find myself leaving quite a nice little trail. So touching on performance of Tel Aviv there, it is a very shy, on me, it's very shy, it's very subtle, it's very airy. 
but I was impressed with the very pretty floral, white floral cloud that it actually did project. A very warm, very clean, pretty little trail. And this is a lovely fragrance for someone that works, you know, in that hospital environment, what we might class as a key worker at the beginning of the year. Someone that maybe shouldn't wear fragrance, but wants to smell nice, you know. A lovely fragrance for someone in that category of work. And that's really all I can say about Tel Aviv. I hope you enjoyed our review. And I'm pleased to say that Tel Aviv won't mark the end of our Let's Gallivant series. We have a new release from Gallivant, which is Bakura. Myself and John were very fortunate to be kindly sent a sample of Bakura by Nick Stewart. He actually sent them out secretly with no notice. So that was really, really kind and really exciting. As you know, I do like to remain uninfluenced when I review the Gallivant fragrances, but it's getting so much hype. So I haven't smelled it yet. I'll admit to knowing that it is uh, an iris focused fragrance and that it is getting a lot of love. But we'll save that for our next and last episode of Let's Gallivant. Thanks so much again to John. Don't forget to go and check him out over on Instagram. His handle is at Scented Snowdrops. That is all from me. Looking forward to seeing you all in our next episode. Take care, guys. Over and out. <laughs>